Tonight, a CBS News exclusive. Residents of an American town are fighting for their lives. They live in Louisiana's Cancer Alley, where more than 100 petrochemical plants and refineries pollute the air. For tonight's Eye on America, Janet Shamlian got an exclusive look at a report on the danger in the air. This is Reserve, Louisiana. A town of 10,000, the Environmental Protection Agency says, has some of the most toxic air in America. The EPA says the cancer risk here is almost 50 times the national average. They built this monstrosity up on top of us. Robert Taylor has lived most of his 78 years here. Even his family's cemetery is surrounded by a refinery. He says his mom, sister, uncle, and nephew all died of cancer. As I stand here, it, it's overwhelming to me. All of my folks are here. I will eventually wind up here. For decades, people in reserve have had health problems, ranging from dizziness and severe headaches to liver and lung cancer. Many believe this plant, hundreds of yards from some of their homes, is the source. The Denka Performance Elastomer Plant, owned by DuPont until 2015, makes chloroprene, a chemical the EPA calls a likely human carcinogen. Denka is the only plant in the country producing it. In a new study obtained first by CBS News, the University Network for Human Rights found actual cancer rates surrounding Denka are higher than expected. Those living in homes surveyed within a mile of the plant had cancer rates of nearly 7%. Go a half mile farther away, and the cancer rate drops significantly by almost 40%. Denka says it hasn't had the chance to see the new study and cites a state tumor registry that does not show a cancer increase in reserve. The company says the EPA's chloroprene concerns are based on faulty science, resulting in a dramatically inflated risk factor. What really drove us was the fact that we've got a school right here with four to 500 black children in it, 1,500 feet from the fence line. Hello. I'm from a reserve in Louisiana, and I'm here to address the stockholders of Denka. Taylor is a lead plaintiff in a suit against Denka and recently took his fight 7,000 miles to Denka's headquarters in Tokyo. CBS News was there as his team tried to confront company executives. They were turned away. Denka later told them they couldn't meet because of pending litigation. They demonstrated to us today that they don't care about what's happening to the people in Reserve, Louisiana. Why haven't you moved? Why should I move? How can I move? I, I, I struggle all my life to build this. Here's the American dream to own your own home. Right now, in good conscience, who would I actually sell this house to? What poor, unsuspecting family what I trick into moving into this debt trap. Janet Chamley and CBS News, Reserve, Louisiana.